so it's a beautiful thing to have a great skin during this hamatan season not allowing the weather to to dry you out and make you look darker or ashy or rough because dry skin would break would crack would bleed would itch and would be rough so it's a one live inside of me and I can do anything I don't lose I'm a less we more than God and don't God I am in it Hello everyone, welcome to my channel It's a delight to be here with you again My name is Marie Thank you for stopping by today And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel Why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button Then go ahead and touch the notification bell So that you can always get alerted whenever I upload you should always consider follow you should also consider following me on instagram at marigolden underscore we can also chat up whenever you send me a DM. today i want to talk about how to take care of your skin during the hammer time abroad over outside nigeria if you are in uk us italy wherever you may be it's winter season where you are at or what's the weather where you are at in nigeria it's hamatan we have two seasons in nigeria dry and rain season we have the dry season we have the rain season right now we're in the dry season and it is called hamatan it is very dusty very dry the weather is um, hazy and foggy you really can't see far when you're driving very very dusty now if you hear any noise in my background, it's because I have a poultry at the back of my house. I have lots of birds. They are layers and um, they do lay eggs for me that I sell because I am into everything. You know, YouTube is actually a side hustle and an interest that I really, really love. And I also love the poultry. One day I'm going to give you a talk of my poultry, but right now we are talking about how to take care of your skin. So, I apologize for any noise that you're hearing in the background. I want to talk about how to take care of your skin during this Amatan season that is very, very dry. Both the hair and the skin suffer a great deal when it comes to Amatan. I think um, up north, it's even, the weather is even a lot drier. During this hamatan period, the skin is prone to excessive dryness, roughness, cracking, and bleeding, including itching. The hamatan period is a season where the skin is so dry, and if you do not up your game or your skincare routine, your skin will suffer adversely. So, in order to prevent your skin from cracking, bleeding, and drying and itching, you've got to up your game a little bit. You don't have to do so much extra things other than the few things that I'm going to be outlining for you. But the number one tip I'm going to be giving you is that you've got to have your bath. You've got to have your bath. Bathing with hot water, excessively hot water, is not the best for your skin. Because when the water is so hot, it, it makes your skin to wrinkle. And you wouldn't want to wrinkle your skin because of... Um, you wouldn't want your skin wrinkled so opt for lukewarm water tepid water that is not so hot and it's not cool so make it warm water warm water would hydrate your skin as funny as it sounds some people don't have their bath during the hamatan and hamatan makes your skin look ashy and dry so to prevent that you've got to have your bath at least twice a day in the morning and in the evening Ensure that you have your bath with a soap that is not um, overly harsh. Have your bath with, with warm water and rinse your body thoroughly. The number two thing you would want to do is that as soon as you step out of the bathroom, don't allow your skin to dry up. Immediately moisturize your body. Moisturize your skin. Now, using oils would really, really help your skin. But also using cream against lotion will be of immense benefit to you. Cream and lotions are made from oils, mixtures of oils and water. The cream is, the lotion is lighter and may not be able to withstand.
turn the hammer turn. So the cream that is heavier because it has a lot more oil than water could help seal, could help sealing moisture into your skin. So immediately you step out of the out of the bathroom, ensure that you you immediately moisturize your skin, sealing that moisture with a heavy cream or oil that can keep your skin moisturized and well hydrated. This is key. This is very key. Don't leave your skin for 5-10 um, minutes after having your bath without um, putting something, without um, um, sealing up moisture in your skin with your cream or with your oil. It is important for you to do so. I talked about having your bath. Having your bath, like I said, is very important because water hydrates the skin. The skin does require moisture does require hydrating during the dry season so when you have your bath your skin is, is moisturized that roughness is no longer there the tough thing is that you've got to exfoliate your skin in nigeria we always have our bath whether night or day but i can't talk for everybody i can speak for me we do use sponge to have our bath whatever it is that you do you've got to exfoliate your skin at about Three, you've got to exfoliate your skin like three times in a week. That means thoroughly scrubbing your body to remove, you know, because of the dryness of the weather, your skin will dry up and dead skin cells will be on the surface of the skin. So scrubbing that away to reveal the new skin will be of immense benefit to you. So consider exfoliating your skin during this hamatan season. There are lots of scrubs out there that can really help with exfoliating the skin to make it more beautiful. So exfoliate your skin when you're having your bath at least three times a week using materials that will not rough on your skin but rather gently exfoliate. And when you exfoliate, use a circle motion to use the scrub on your body then rinse thoroughly with water and having your bath it's important for you not to stay too long in the shower having your bath between for between five to ten minutes it's ideal anything longer than that may not do too well for your immune system so you've got to have your bath within the duration of five to ten minutes consider shortening your time in the bath to this uh, number of minutes to help your skin. Like I said, um, during this hammer time, if you were so, uh, the kind of person who uses lotion, lotions really would not do so well in the hammer time period because they are not heavy enough to seal in moisture into your skin. So you find that that having used lotion and you go out, your skin becomes dry like almost immediately and looking cracky, dry and ashy. You wouldn't want that to happen to you. So invest in in rich creams invest in creams that would really help to moisturize your body if you're using a lotion consider adding oil like olive oil to your body lotion to give it that extra moisture that you need for your skin during this hamata season it's important for you to drink a lot of water when I say drink a lot of water, I'm not talking about beverages and alcoholic drinks and lots of um, sugary drinks. No, drink a lot of water. Wake up in the morning, take water. Take water several times a day, up to two gallons of water. That is because of the dryness that comes with Amatan. It sucks up moisture from the skin. And then um, you need to replenish and hydrate yourself from inside. So drink a lot of water. Some people may not like drinking so much water because they say they've got to weigh a lot. Of course, you've got to weigh a lot. But remember that in drinking water, the human body is made up of 75% of water. So you are basically water. So if you do not replenish what the dryness is, is sucking out of your skin, your skin will look dry and patchy. So alongside having your bath regularly, which is very advisable, internally take, take a lot of water to hydrate yourself from inside and help your cells do better and fresher. When you drink a lot of water, it reports on the surface of your skin, helping to cool your skin and helping moisture rise up to the surface of the skin during the day. So it is advisable 
to drink a lot of water. During this hamatel season, eat a lot of healthy fat. When I say healthy fat, um, eat fruits like avocado. Olive oil is also good if you can incorporate that into your diet. But consider eating like pear and avocado, which are healthy fats, that help to boost you from, from within and help your skin to feel supple and luscious. So it's a beautiful thing to have a great skin during this Hamatan season, not allowing the weather to, to dry you out and make you look darker or ashy or rough because dry skin would break, would crack, would bleed, would itch, and would be rough. So all these things that I've said in this video today, consider putting them into practice to help your skin do better during this Hamilton season. I'll see you again in another video.